What's going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. In today's one, we're going to be discussing a few things that need to change in the next Black Ops 4 update. Now, obviously, Triarch have already released some patches, buffs, and nerfs, but I kind of want to cover the wide scheme of things and just address everything that I believe should change in the next update. With that being said, let's dive straight into some of the things that have already been resolved. Now, Triarch have already announced that they have fixed some crashing issues. I believe crashing issues happen on Xbox and PC, but obviously from my end, it most definitely happened from PS4. It's kind of the reason why I haven't been streaming because every two hours my game would crash and I stream through the PS4 So every time my app closes then unfortunately the stream ends So it's good to know that that finally fixes obviously it might still happen But there's a reduced chance the next thing that I do want to cover is server lag Server lag has been a thing in many Call of Duties where sometimes you might get laggy lobbies But fortunately enough this was one of the best releases that we had in a while looking back last year at World War 2 The release in terms of servers was horrible. We got very good service this year and I'm very very glad that they pretty much ace that. I'm finding that I still do get a bit of server lag every now and then but again it's good to know that they have sort of resolved most of this. A thing that not many people have noticed is now in TDM and this is normal TDM the maximum party limit is 6v6 so now instead of 5v5 it's 6v6 bringing a total of 12 players pretty much like the traditional Call of Duty. It'll be interesting to see if Treyarch ends up bringing this to all game modes and just pushes the 5v5 out the way. Obviously the game still runs very very good as 5v5 but 6v6 I feel would be a lot better. Treyarch has also announced that they fixed emblem glitching. Every now and then when you're making emblems the app would pretty much just glitch out and your emblem would just totally glitch. We saw that the new featured playlist is now heist. And finally we have confirmation on the new supply stream system. They released this and then took the read it down but we all know what's happening now i'll probably make a whole different video about this topic but pretty much what it is is a battle pass from fortnite coming into black ops 4 as i said i'll cover this topic a bit later on when we get closer to the release of that with that being said there is still a lot of things that they have to update and work on one of them things is adding some possible double xp weekend currently the only double xp that we have available to us is a monster can sponsorship i believe at some stores if you buy a can of monster you do get a double xp code with that can i know that a lot of race accounts were using those double xps and if we can get our hands on just double xp in general that would be amazing the next thing is to possibly add a few things to combat records at the moment the cod tracker app actually has more information about our combat record than the actual combat record in the game does. So simple things like maybe our most used guns, our most played game modes, our win loss in certain game modes, pretty much following the same style as World War 2 and Black Ops 3. Obviously they do need our leaderboards that will be coming into the game very soon and obviously I believe that you should be able to see other people's stats like Black Ops 3 how you could click on their name, view combat record and you could see their KD, their SPM, their most used weapons, all that good stuff. Obviously now with the unlocking of Dark Matter and more people gradually getting diamond and gold, I believe that you should be able to keep sort of the stages that you get so in gold how you get the flashing pink the flashing yellow diamond how it all changes colors there should be certain challenges to unlock that variant of that color instead of it being you know you get it in a game and you only get to keep it for a few minutes let's talk about some nerfs these are pretty interesting um i've seen a lot of tweets about this if you want to see the more detailed tweet just go to at threes mode it's pretty funny i'll put it on the screen right now the first thing that i want to acknowledge is the canine unit for nomad in my opinion, Nomad shouldn't even be in the game. It's just such a toxic, just such a bad specialist. The trip mines, they trip off straight away, and the dog, it, it takes like a million bullets to kill. Again, this is from my good old pal, Thrismo. This is him shooting a rocket launcher at a dog, and it still doesn't die. As well as this, SMGs do need to be buffed. One thing that I don't want Treyarch to do here is just nerf all the assault rifles. I reckon you buff everything so the time to kill can be a little bit less. One thing that I'm not sure about is the strike team. I don't know if that was a glitch, how you can obviously get points towards your nuke with the strike team, but if that's intentional, then that's sick. The shield for the Ajax needs to be nerfed again. You can't kill that thing. They need to change TDM to 100 kills. I've said this so many times and I just don't know why they don't do it. They need to change kill confirmed to 75 points they need to also increase uav and counter uav time in the air because it feels like they're up there for like 15 seconds or something anyway guys that's the end of today's video i hope you did enjoy if you did make sure to smash that like button also subscribe if you guys have not already peace out and enjoy the rest of your day